Good morning, I'm Andy Anderson. And I'm Cougar Smith. And here's the latest in voting news. President Trump has called voter fraud a major issue that may have swayed the 2016 popular vote. That's right, he claimed that millions of people voted illegally in this past election without proof. Zero f proof. <laughs> Where's the proof, Andy? Where's the proof? <laughs> <laughs> You're too much. Let's check in with our voter forecaster, Maria Chavez y Contreras. How is the voting forecast looking for 2018, Maria? Not great, Cougar. We have voter suppression blowing in from the north, south, east, and west. Currently, 32 states have voter ID laws, and nine of those states have strict voter ID laws. Andy, back to you. Sounds like that's going to require more than a light jacket. <laughs> <laughs> For decades, Republicans claimed massive voter fraud. Yet, in one billion votes cast since 2000, only 31 credible voter impersonation cases have been discovered. While that statistic shatters the voter ID myth, Trump still hired Kansas's Chris Kobach to chair his commission on election fraud. Kansas is Chris Kobach. That's a lot of hard Ks. Just three Ks. Issues of race have often been the subtext in Republicans' charges of voter fraud. To hear more about this, let's check back in with our voter forecaster, Maria Chavez y Contreras. You are correct, Andy. Alabama closed 31 of its state driver's license offices last year after passing a new voter ID law. In North Carolina in 2016, there were 158 fewer early polling places in 40 counties with large black communities, and African-American voter participation was down 16%. Let's not forget, too, that one-third of people with disabilities reported problems with voting, and 40% of trans people said they were harassed at the polls. Andy, back to you. What's your biggest voting pet peeve, Cougar? Biggest voting pet peeve, aside from gerrymandering? Yep! Yeah. When they run out of those little I Voted stickers. Oh, I hate that! What about you, Maria Chavez y Contreras? What's your biggest voting pet peeve? When my vote doesn't count. My last name has made voting a nightmare. <laughs> Back to you, Cougar. Speaking of which, in a state with strict voter ID laws, individuals must have a state-issued photo ID that matches the name on their voter registration cards. Voter photo ID laws disproportionately impact women because approximately 90% of women change their legal name upon marriage or divorce, and up to 52% of women could lack acceptable documentation to get a voter ID. Have you ever had an issue voting, Andy? As a matter of fact, yes. You know, I was taking off the voting rolls this last election because they thought my name was a duplicate. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yes. As it turns out, there was another person that lived in my district with the name Andy Anderson. And it turns out that person was a man. And if he was a white man, I'm sure they preferred his vote over yours. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Cougar Smith. I'm Andy Anderson. And I'm Maria Chavez y Contreras. Good day and good voting.